Hey, here's a little secret. Did you know Trump was Hitler? <laughs> yes, I know. It's shocking. I'm shocked. Shocked. I, 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 I'm appalled. <laughs> but Kamala Harris has just stated that if you vote for Trump, there you cheers. Go. There you go. <laughs> you're voting for Hitler. It is what it is. I'm Jazz Vergonzo on this. Yeah, I know she's retarded. Kamala is mentally impaired. <laughs> it's true. But it's what's next. A happy Thursday, ladies and gentlemen. Jazz Raganza, what's next? Your daily dose, common sense, facts, and salt. Hope you guys are feeling good today. Well, <clears throat> breaking news. You might have not heard it. I don't know what you may have been doing. You may have been, uh, you know, outside mowing the lawn, uh, you know, doing groceries, washing your hair. But Kamala Harris has just broken a story that's going to shatter the internet, that literally broke the internet. Trump is Hitler. Yes, I know. I know. It's shocking. It's amazing. You know, I, I'm clutching my pearls. My rectum is clinching because Trump is Hitler. And Kamala says that if you vote for him, you know, you know, you, you, you gotta, you know, you, you're gonna be rounded up and sent to the gulags, you know, with him walking around in his hip boots and, uh, you know, and cracking that whip and, uh, you know, then we don't want that. We want freedom. So vote for Kamala. Ugh. Like I stated in my opener, she's retarded. Yeah, I know. But um, here we go. This comes out of Breitbart. Kamala Harris uses sketchy Atlantic hit piece to smear Trump as Hitler 2.0. He wants unchecked power. What? How dare you? Oh my gosh, we can't, we, we, we can't, we can't have this. Vice President Kamala Harris, you know Kamala knee pads, Willie Brown side piece, used a baseless hit piece published in the Atlantic to attack former President Donald Trump for allegedly... Invoking Hitler, yes. Harris's public uh, relations stunt is indicative of the establishment media alliance with the Harris campaign. The story written by Trump-hating fabulist Jerry Goldberg, I'm sorry, Jeffrey Goldberg of The Atlantic, owned by Lauren Powell Jobs. Yeah, no connections there. Uh, based on claims on two anonymous sources who appear to be rehashing a claim from 2022 in a book by The New Yorker, Susan B. Glazer, The New York Times, and Peter Baker. The Trump campaign Hitler I'm sorry, the Trump campaign immediately denied Goldberg's claim that the foreign president ever praised Hitler. Critics argue that it's a written to change the media cycle in favor of Harris, who suffered negative headlines after Trump's successfully weekend of campaigning. Yes, Harris has had clusterfuck after clusterfuck, stepping on rakes, making an ass out of herself over the last month. Desperation. <sighs> the stench is in the air. Despite the dubious nature of the story, Harris has tried to argue the harness. I'm sorry, Harris tried to harness the base of the attack to drive her campaign to closer the closing message, namely that Trump is unhinged, unstable, and therefore unfit to be president. We again, we we just can't have this. Quote: It's deeply troubling. Incredibly dangerous that Donald Trump would invoke Adolf Hitler, a man who's responsible for the deaths of six million Jews and hundreds of thousands of Americans. Hitler, uh, Harris claimed from their residence uh, in Washington. All this is further evidence for the American people of who Donald Trump really is. But let's hear it from the mouth. From John Kelly's words, that Donald Trump is someone who I quote, certainly falls into the general definition of fascist who in fact vowed to be a dictator on day one and vowed to use the military as his personal militia to carry out his personal and political vendettas. Donald uh, Trump is increasingly unhinged and unstable. Uh, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm appalled. I'm, I'm upset. John, uh, David, uh, John Daniel Davidson. The Atlantic story is a psyop. Its immediate purpose was to get the corporate press and Harris campaign to repeat the lie at the heart of the story, to treat it as fact. Mission accomplished. But its ultimate purpose is to justify the rejection of a Trump electoral victory. Donald Trump is increasingly unhinged, unstable. In a second term, people, people like John Kelly uh, would not be there to be guardrails against his propensities and his actions, she continued. The bottom line is, we know what Donald Trump wants, added, Harris added. He wants unchecked, unlimited power. Yes, he wants to be Thanos. Question is, 13 days, what will the American people want? The Atlantic story has also been condemned uh, for printing falsehoods about uh, Myra Garland, 
uh, the sister of deceased U.S. Uh, Army soldier Vanessa Gellin, uh, Gillen, I, I'm, I'm mispronouncing her name. I, I'm sorry about that. Uh, who said uh, that the hit piece falsely claimed that falsely claimed that Trump offered to help pay for Gillen's future funeral, but allegedly became angry over the cost and blurted out an expletive. Myra Gillen. Wow. I don't appreciate how you explain my sister's death for politics, hurtful and disrespectful to the important changes she's made to her service members. President Donald Trump did nothing but show respect to my family and Vanessa. In fact, I voted for President Trump today. So yesterday we learned that Donald Trump's former chief of staff, John Kelly, a retired four-star general, confirmed that while Donald Trump was president, he said he wanted generals like Adolf Hitler had. Donald Trump said that because he does not want a military that is loyal to the United States Constitution. He wants a military that is loyal to him. He wants a military who will be loyal to him personally. One that will obey his orders even when he tells them to break the law or abandon their oath to the Constitution of the United States. Said the desperation is in the air. It's thick. I mean, it is like, seriously, get your hip boots on thick. That's how ridiculous this has become. We've got less than two weeks. It's clear. Anybody with common sense, anybody with critical thinking, anybody with a, a IQ above room temperature would know there is stark differences between one Donald Trump and one Willie Brown hit piece. I'm sorry, Willie Brown's side piece. But Willie Brown did hit that, but anyway. anyway. But when you have this and the Brett Bear, when Brett Bear just destroyed her and wrecked her, and how many times has she fallen on her face every time she gets in front of a microphone without a script? It's gold, Jerry. Gold. But yeah, we got two weeks to go. Early voting has started. Uh, like I said, you can make the polls however you want. You can make a favor Trump. You can make a favor Kamala. But at the end of the day, you got to vote. You have to make your voice heard. Whether you do, uh, whether you do, uh, you know, videos like I'm doing, whether you do podcasting, what have you, make your voices heard. You know, on Twitter X, that's probably going to be your best bet because that's where everyone will get to see it, and uh, you don't have to worry about knuckleheads like on YouTube and on Facebook, you know, fact checking you, you know, and then kicking you off. But Kamala's a clown. She's a fool. She's a buffoon. She must be treated like the clown she is. Donald Trump has done a magnificent job of it, especially over the last two weeks. So the man's unhinged. He wants unchecked power. He wants he wants the he wants that Thanos snap every single, you know, American's freedoms and liberties. But yet, look at the last four years. And there you go. With that being said, I'm Jazz Braganzo. This is What's Next. If you want to see more like this, please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. Continue spreading the word about the show. Appreciate you guys watching as always. And um, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.